Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Irish Donna Tarot. My name is Donna Wilder Hart, and I would like to thank all of you who have subscribed and commented to enter the contest, as well as the support of watching the videos. As a new channel, it means the world to me that you thumbs up and so forth and really support me. Welcome to all new watchers. I would like for everyone to know that I'm a highly vetted uh, publicly vetted psychic online. If you were to Google Irish Donna, you would find more information than I even know exists. I'm simply told by clients that I'm famous, and I have to laugh because I clearly am not famous. But anyway, it's very sweet. Here we go. Your person, when they met you, this was basically the question I wanted to answer today, and I didn't tell you what the question was before I started pulling cards. What did your person feel about you when they met you? That was my question. And because they entered very quickly, they worked very hard to sweep you off your feet. They felt as though you were marriage material. Um, you, the chariot card is about, you know, it's like driving a car very quickly. It also means that you could have taken a road trip. But very quickly they involved you and introduced you to family members. You became part of their family right away. Um, in fact, probably more than you should have, right, at the beginning of a relationship. They were not very balanced, you know. This justice card indicates balance, but it shows this sort of yin-yang energy. Um, and it shows that their enthusiasm for you was too high to keep them balanced, okay? Also, too, I want to, the Sun card also indicates that in, through the entire relationship, they laughed, they thought you were entertaining, they had fun with you, they relished their time with you. There was never a time when this person didn't feel better, happier, more stable than when you were around. So let's see what else they felt. Okay. They felt that you were outstanding with children, and as I said, you know, chances are you were part of the family almost immediately. Here we go again. They felt as though you had great mothering skills, very nurturing, that you were very loving. They had, they, for most of them, they fell in love with you very quickly. What's interesting is that they may have told you somewhat, but I don't think they told you a lot. What I do see is the problem here is that they brought a lot of uh, baggage into the relationship. They thought they were willing to work on it because they definitely wanted to have a marriage again. And here's the card that takes the relationship down. For those of you who are asking about, well, it can be a current lover, but it also can be a former lover. The Devil card energy said that they came once again with a lot of baggage. Let's see how they felt about trying to hide their baggage from you. Let's see if that was a conscious effort or not. Let's clarify that. Let's clarify the baggage they brought and how did they feel about the fact that they, you know, people don't really advertise their baggage, right? So let's look and see how they felt about bringing that baggage forward in the relationship. Well, for many of you, they talked about it very freely. They felt that they didn't have any baggage anymore. They felt, many of them felt as though they had worked through it. Um, it also, yes, they thought they had worked through it. Six of Wands says that they presented themselves as having become healthy and you know, that they really didn't have any baggage. Don't look, don't look over here. Don't see my baggage. <laughs> Daughter of Pentacles, many of them talked about their childhood growing up. They talked about the heartbreak, heartbreak that they felt during this period of time of their life. The High Priestess, they still kept a lot that was, you know, a lot of secrets. The High Priestess is very discreet. Uh, she's Cancerian energy, so we have Cancerian energy here, a lot of Cancerian energy. We also have uh, Mother of Pentacles, so we, we definitely have uh, Virgo, Taurus, and um, 
Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy to Cancerian energy. The Sun card is Leo energy. The Devil card is Capricorn. The World card is Aquarius. The High Priestess is Cancer. So, you know, there's a lot here that's very nurturing, right? And that's Cancerian energy, typically a lot of cups. What's funny is that they really had to try very hard to keep their feelings from you. It shows that even though they wanted to marry you and they brought you into the family right away, they pretty much just fell in love with you. I mean, they just fell in love with you. They, they loved everything about you. You were funny, you were witty, you were sweet, you were kind, you were easy to be with, you were open, you know, you spoke to them very freely and that really goes along with the Sun card. This also means your that's a wish come true card. Basically that is, it's sort of like the genie in the bottle. Their wish was to meet someone like you and then they did. So let's take a look and see. Let's clarify that Ten of Cups card. Why were they so willing to bring you into the family so quickly? Oh, they've been alone. Oh, but here it is. This is who you are. You were their empress. They saw you as queen of the queens. They felt as though you were like the crown jewel in their family. When you were there, everyone else livened up, everybody else responded to the elevation that you brought into the household, into the family. A really amazing energy. Look at all this passion. You just oozed passion. Passionate commitment to life. Passionate commitment to everything that you do and did. Again, it's another marriage card as a clarifier. So the marriage, <laughs> traditional marriage clarifies traditional marriage. The chariot card, could they deliver? No. Five of Cups, they disappointed you greatly. Let's see. The Tower card. Well, the Tower card clarifies all their baggage and it shows that it caused the crisis that made the two of you break up. And let's look at the Mother of Cups card here. The Mother of Cups card here is, ah, you had, you know that song Sexual Healing by, I think it's Al Green. It shows that the way you nurtured them as a lover made them free to express their sensual side. Let's look and see what the Mother of Pentacles meant for them. The Mother of Pentacles, that's, a, that's stability typically. Yes, success. Oh, when they went out with you, they thought that you looked great. They used to watch everybody in the room. They liked to walk behind you into a restaurant, which is appropriate, especially if you're female. Um, and it shows that they would watch other people from behind as everyone turned and looked at you. So as you walk through the room looking elegant and beautiful and sophisticated, they would walk behind you and spy and see what everybody was paying attention to in terms of, you know, looking you up and down. You present very, you know, according to this reading for whom this resonates, you know how to dress you know how to present yourself. You know how to command attention when you walk into a room because the sun card is, you know, elegant Leo energy. That's the card of the star, the movie stars. You know, that's what, if you were a rock star, it's a sun card. It's the fifth house of creativity. There's something very unique about the way you dress, the way you present yourself. Quite lovely. In terms of how you should feel about this person, um, I'm not should, but what advice, what advice, I'm not going to ask for advice for you. I'm going to ask for advice that they should have taken before they made a mess of your relationship, okay? What is the advice the Oracle would have had for them? You are trying too hard, give it time. Okay, sounds reasonable, right? Give it time, give it time. For many of you, the relationship just exploded into action and exploded out of action with that tower card. It's almost like it started with a bang and ended with a bang. Sexual union, honor the place in one another where are you are one eternal soul for there will you will find true bliss. Well, we're getting ready to Mercury. <laughs> we're getting ready to have the Mercury retrograde. <laughs> And I'm, it's very clear, I'm a Gemini. I'm struggling, okay. 
Let's see. Emotions are natural and a necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. That devil card was resentful. That devil card is what caused the problems. I want to see what the romance angels have in terms of how you can integrate this relationship and your experience in it. The interesting thing is that this person, it was a rough ending. I can see that for those for whom this resonates. This person just sort of went off the rails. It was like a chain, a train that derailed. And you might have seen, you know, the debris. You might have felt that it could happen. But when it happened, it was really quite, quite breathtaking in the way this person was smug and destructive and mean-spirited. It looks like they were very mean-spirited at the very end and for no reason, for absolutely no reason. So let's see what your advice is here for the way you can integrate this retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Oopsie daisy, don't bark sweetie, it's just I live in the city. Oh, okay, okay. Shh, shh, shh. shh, shh. Let's, let me finish. Okay. Worth waiting for. Okay, Parker. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And on that note, I'm going to say goodbye. There's so much noise. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.